It's Valentine's Day 2022 and Kia and I have released a new Gen 5 widescreen navigation update which covers E-Nero, Kona, EV6, Ionic 5 and many many more. Um, the update notes on the site don't show it, it still says November as usual but if you run the navigation updater for your Hyundai or Kia and then it'll tell you that what's changed and start downloading it. Um, it's now grown in size so you need a bigger than uh, 32 gigabyte um, flash drive. Um, I've had to borrow one out of my camera which is a 256 and uh, format it. Um, but I've downloaded it so I can copy the files again later. Um, it now takes 38 gigabytes instead of 24, 25 that it used to. Uh, but that's only for the new cars. I think the e Nero and the Kona are smaller files. Uh, anyway, we'll see what uh, how it goes. Okay, February the fourteenth, and they've released a new update, but not updated the notes on the Kia and Hyundai sites. But if you run the update program on your PC or your Mac, it'll update the files on your memory stick. Uh, the update's grown to 37 gigabytes on the EV6, so I guess it'll be the same on the Ionic 5. Um, so my old version was the temporary update that was out in January, which is uh, um, 22.0107, that's the 7th of Jan, dated. And it did have over-the-air updates, but no updates available, and it's, it's not enabled, so... I'll just stick the memory stick in the USB socket. Right, fingers crossed. Yay, we have an update. Right, um, we're going to update after the vehicle's turned off. So that's um, 22.02.11. So that's 11th of February 2022. So update when the vehicle's turned off. And then I'll get a message um, on my Kia uh, Connect app when it's finished. So let's set it and forget it. We'll start at the vehicle time. If your vehicle ignition is off, do you want to schedule the update now? We'll start immediately after turning off the ignition, yes. Validating files. Okay, I can just leave it now and turn the car off, so I'll do that. Okay, I've come back to the car. It's been more than an hour, but I've still not had a message from Kia Connect, so I'm going to turn it on and see where it's at. 46% so I guess I've got to come back right it's 8 p.m. let's see where we are 90% and that's 8 o'clock yeah and that's going quick now that won't be long And the update's finished, it took two hours. It's now 8.36. Okay, and we're up to 22.02.11. Over the air updates, like we had before, but still not enabled. Uh, navigation app is 2201.26 and the map version may be the same as before. Right, I'm going to go into settings and see if the bugs have gone. Uh, so, um, vehicle, active sound design, set it to off.
Now I'm going to um, try remote preheat. Okay, remote. Um, defrost and heating. I'll leave the rear window uh, and steering wheel and I'll try defrost in 24 degrees. Start climate control. Current temperature is um, nine degrees. And it's still blowing cold. Right, I've tested in defrost mode and not a sign of any heat. So now I'm going to try it turning defrost mode on and just setting the temperature. I'm gonna whack the temperature up to 20, all the way. 27 and I'm going to start remote climate control there we go again temperature went down from 9 to 8 because just the AC was on there was no heat Okay, it's been going five minutes. Uh, my defrost turned off and the temperature is set up to 27 and the thermometer is not, it, it's still nine degrees, so it has not put the temperature up. If anything, I'm freezing because the AC's on and there's no heating, so not fixed. Right, let's see if um, active sound design is turned off. I've left the car for 10 minutes after turning it off. Um, Stroke left, settings, vehicle, active sound design, and it's remembered the settings so they fix something. Great. Now let's see if um, the preview has been fixed. No, the pre previews have completely gone now. Before you got, um, I think, dynamic or cyber, it would just appear. Maybe because I've turned it off. No, only dynamic is uh, currently previewing still, so they've not fixed that bug. At least the main bug bearer, that one's fixed. No idea if the um, charging preheat has been added yet. Uh, I won't get a chance to look at that till tomorrow. 